lean workout. Um, it's going to be just a three round, one minute each movement circuit. I'll go over all the movements first and then I'll, uh, and then we'll kind of get through it and do it together. I'll keep track on my phone of the time and everything like that. So first movement is going to be twisting mountain climbers. So I'm going to show these off of the bench, which you can do off of your bed. But if you are at a higher level, feel free to do it in like a flat position on top of your bed kind of thing, or on the ground if you want to. So, so this first one is going to be, let me move this a little bit closer. So you're going to be in a push-up position, okay? And then I'm going to take my, right, my left knee to my right, uh, elbow and then vice versa right to the left so you're just kind of twisting the body a little bit to get it going let me show it from the side so you're here and it's twisting to the other side just like that okay and then we're going to do a single leg hinge okay so the single leg hinge what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one foot and just kind of kick it back kind of like a little kickstand and then i'm just going to hinge right at the waist you're going to feel that in the hamstring just like that, okay? So we're gonna go 30 seconds on each side for that one. Then we're gonna do um, a side bend windmill. So you're gonna be nice and wide right here. I'm gonna try to reach down, touch as far as I can on the leg while that other hand comes up. We're gonna go one minute total alternating the reps on that. Then we're gonna do push-up rotation. So again, I'm gonna do this off the bench. How this is gonna go, you're gonna do a push-up and then turn and put that hand up, okay? Just like that. We'll alternate every single time. And then a walking plank. So walking plank is gonna be in push up position. I'm gonna go down to my forearms, back up to my hands, okay? Just like that for one minute. So we're gonna do this three times, one minute per round. I'll let you know um, all the, when we're gonna switch and everything like that. And, uh, and then I'll remind you of what the movements are. I don't expect you to memorize them or anything like that, but I'll remind you, okay guys? So first thing we're gonna be doing is the mountain climbers. Let me go ahead and get this watch going. Here we go, in three, two, one, and go. So good solid core, bringing leg to the opposite elbow. Just a nice steady pace. Keeping that back nice and flat. Keeping a good tight core through this as well. About halfway through this first one. Concentrating on pushing those hips back towards the wall behind you or whatever is behind you. Couple more seconds on this leg. Go ahead and switch up the leg. Keep it in a good uh, 
solid paste, nothing that's gonna be too herky jerky that could potentially hurt. About halfway through this one. Ten more seconds, guys. Next one's gonna be the push up. So go ahead and switch up to the push up. You're going to that push up into the rotation, okay? So you're just gonna do your push up. Turn one hand nice into the sky, and then switch to the other side. We're just gonna be doing that for one minute. Again, being very deliberate. If you need to take a break, make it short. Try to get yourself back in. Keep it moving as much as you can. Got about 20 seconds. to the walking plank next, okay? Go ahead and switch to that one. Going down to the forearms, and back up to the hands. Over halfway through this one. Got about 10 seconds. All right, go ahead and rest. We're gonna rest for just a few seconds. Try to shake out the arms real quick, and then we'll go into the mountain climbers, okay? All right, go ahead and get into the mountain climbers, guys. Give you about a 10 second rest. Again, opposite elbow from the knee, okay? So bring that knee up, but turn that body a little bit. We need to take a rest, we're just gonna shake them out real quick, and then get right back into it. Next thing's gonna be those hip hinges. All right, let's go ahead and switch. So one leg back, good solid hinge. Keep it a good flat back, guys. One of the easier ways to make sure is you can kind of put your hands where your hips bend, and you're gonna to try to squeeze your hand between your thigh and your stomach. That way you know you're pushing that hip back a little bit. Go ahead and switch. And it's more of a hinge than it is of just kind of like leaning forward. You should be feeling a big time in the back of the leg. It's your hamstring. Couple more seconds on this one, and we're going to the windmill again. All right, go ahead and switch up. Windmill's nice and wide, good for long arms. Bend in on each side, touching down as low as you can on the leg. Over 
halfway through this one. Yeah, about 10 seconds. Next one's gonna be a little push up into the rotation again. All right, go ahead and switch over to those push ups. Give it a good tight core, good flat back. Halfway through this one. Remember if you need to take that break, make it short. Try to get yourself back in. Got about 10 seconds. walking planks, it's a lot of shoulders, so I'll build in just short little reps. Here we, here we go, 10 seconds, and go. Remember, starting up high, moving down to the forearms, and then back up to the hands. in 10 seconds. And go ahead and rest. Okay, quick little rest. Shake the arms out a little bit. We're going to be going back into the mountain climbers here in about five seconds. Two, one, and mountain climbers. It's the last round, guys, last round. Few more seconds of going to hip hinge. All right, hip hinge, guys. One leg back. Good hinge at the waist. Remember, touch with those hands where your hips bend, and that will uh, you try to squeeze your hands. That will kind of help get your hips correct. more seconds on this one. Go ahead and switch. Halfway through 
Thank you. 